Good morning, everybody. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. My name is James Goss. So today, uh, basically what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to walk you guys through the process. Uh, I've done this a few times, uh, but I'm not like super well versed. But basically what I'm trying to do here is basically show you that without a whole lot of background knowledge, um, you're going to be able to do this yourself. So, so what we're doing today is we're going to search up work. Um, we're going to create a post and then as we continue along and uh, we make more videos, we'll do the interview process and so on and so forth. But a um, little bit about me real quick. Uh, basically, I'm an entrepreneur. I have me you and know, my hand in a couple of different businesses. Uh, today, we're going to be working on a commercial restoration company. Um, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to try and hire a remote salesperson for that commercial restoration company because... We have plenty of people that are uh, working out in the field that are able to actually physically bid and estimate uh, estimate jobs. We got guys that are really good at that. But what I'm looking for is somebody that can actually physically uh, reach out to clients, or virtually, I guess I should say, uh, reach out to our clients and uh, basically find us leads. So I haven't found this type of a person on Upwork before, but I know Upwork has a ton of these, and you know, I imagine it's similar with Fiverr, uh, that type of stuff. Um, but basically, what I want to do here is. You know just kind of show that it is possible um, and kind of how that system works and uh, give you a little bit of confidence if you haven't done it yourself um, and you know it's kind of getting to the point where in order to compete you almost need remote people uh, you know and that's kind of what we're trying to gravitate towards uh, slightly here at this commercial restoration company so basically uh, I'm not sure maybe I'll create a new profile uh, because the people I've hired before were for different businesses um, but anyway, so I'm going to walk you through the process of how I'm going to do it. And again, I'm not pretending to be an expert at this. I'm sure somebody could do it much faster, much more efficiently, and much better. Uh, but I don't really care about that. I'm not looking for speed, efficiency, or, you know, what I'm looking for is to show you that it is possible with, you know, not really any experience using Upwork. Uh, you can certainly do it, um, and it's valuable. So that's what I'm going to do today, or at least that's what I'm going to try to do. Uh, I'm new to this type of a video, so please bear with me here, but, uh, you know, I hope you get some value out of it. If you do, you know, hit me with a subscribe, like it, you know, you know, you know what all the YouTube people ask you to do, so please do it for me. Um, but anyway, so let's get into this. Um, I'll make this window bigger. I'm working with a uh, streaming record thing here, so I'm just going to get rid of me. You all don't need to see me. Um, okay. So here we go. We're going to go to Upwork. Now, without even logging in, let's just go ahead and we're going to search for uh, sales. So right off the bat, um, you know, you see a couple options here. Um, first of all, you got here in this corner where my cursor's at, you got US only. Um, you know, so obviously you can uncheck that. A lot of times your your price per hour is going to, you know, obviously there's a huge fluctuation. Um, you know, I looked at this extremely briefly and then I decided, hey, I should make a video uh, just to help people out. But but when I looked at this first, you know, like some of the first ones that came up were like, you know, 350 bucks an hour. That's not at all what I'm looking for. Um, and those were more like sales manager types that are going to be able to help you build a sales process. We already have a sales process. We have a target audience. We know who we're trying to reach. We just don't have enough manpower to actually reach uh, enough of those clients, or we'd like to reach more, I guess I should say. Um, so we're not looking for somebody that's going to help us build a system. We're gonna we're looking for somebody that's actually going to work within our system. Uh, so I'm fine going overseas uh, or someone you know within America. You know, it's really depending on the cost but let's say we're looking for somebody in the you know between 15 to 20 dollar an hour range uh and we'll see what we can find let's just look at some of the experience here um you know and and kind of what we're looking at in that range so let's see we'll sort by hourly rate here so you see on the left side uh we can search by location i really don't care this is going to be a remote worker so as long as they're a good worker i don't care where they work uh, let's just do only freelancers. I've worked with a few agencies in the past. Uh, you know, that can be a video for another time, but today we're just going to go for freelancers and let's search by hourly rate. So let's say between 10 and 30. Okay. So let's see some of, some of the things that we get and let's see if any of these, uh, are going to kind of suit what we're looking for. Uh, so we got Alejandro, 18 years of experience, regional technology sales, dedicated support. Great. Great. That sounds excellent. Alejandro. Uh, we got Coralie, alrighty. 
uh, she's from Spain, so 10 years, B to B, B to C, so that's business to business, business to client, or business to consumer, I don't know what it is, sales, that's great. Um, consultant in sales strategy, telemarketing, lead generation, negotiation, supervision of sales teams, organization and planning, uh, native French with perfect English and you're from Spain, good lordy girl, I don't know shit. Um, so basically, you know, you scroll through here, you find people that are going to suit what you're looking for. Um, and so, like, let's see someone like this girl here. She's from the Philippines. Let's learn about her. So need someone to persuade a better convince your prospects. Congratulations, you're on the right profile. Well, I don't know if I am, but let's, let's figure a little bit more out here. I was a sales associate with over five years professional experience. I am able to contribute to the success of a team and the company I worked with through outstanding customer satisfaction and sales skills. I have been receiving our monthly incentives by constantly meeting goals and metrics set by clients. I was even part of a quarterly, who knows, I'm not going to click more, uh, but good for you, um, Jamar. So basically, you know, I'm trying to give you an idea of the kind of different talents that you can get. And like I said, you know, there is, uh, there's a lot of people on here that are way more than uh, what we're looking to pay. You know, you've got Katie S here. She built one of Uber Eats' first sales teams. Well, Uber Eats sells itself, so I'm not impressed. Um, but, you know, so you get the general idea that there's a ton of options on a website like this. Uh, many things that are going to be able to help your business. But, again, what I'm looking for today is I'm going to try and find a salesperson uh, that basically is going to be able to remotely find leads for us and send it to my actual salesmen who are physically here in the United States and in our area. And they're going to be able to, you know, go to these properties, estimate, and, and hopefully end up getting jobs. Um, I would also be open to, you know, doing a commission-based thing. Um, you know, it really just depends on, on how people want to get paid. So, so basically, and I figured that this was probably going to happen. Um, I think what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to post a job. And we're just going to say exactly what we're looking for, and we're going to set an hour, hourly, uh, you know, range, and we're going to see what we get back. And then we'll go through the interview process, which is fairly simple and, uh, you know, nice on Upwork, um, ask some questions, and then hopefully we'll, we'll hire somebody that's going to be able to, to remotely work for us and find us some leads. Um, so let's, let's just go ahead and we'll click post a job. So probably what's going to happen is it's going to make me, uh, you know, it's going to make me sign in here. So let's, uh, let's get to this, blah, blah, blah. You all don't need this. So let's go next here. Please stop that. Okay, next. And perfect, perfect. Ah, Okay, let's see what we got here. I'll edit this part out. I was hoping not to have to edit, but uh, F it. Okay. So there we are. Do we want any of this? Select a country. We're in America. We're in the, we're in the United States. Uh, we're going to hire for a project. Yeah, we're going to agree to the terms of service. And let's go ahead and create an account for me at mycompany.com. Okie dokie, let's start with a strong headline. Caps lock, come on now. Need a remote sales staff member for lead generation. Okie dokie. That sounds about right. That's basically exactly what I said I needed, right? Remote sales staff member for lead generation. Excellent. So, let's add some skills. Hmm, well, it's uh, already suggested a few. Lead generation, great work. Sales, cold calling, outbound sales, telemarketing, interpersonal skills, that'd be great. We don't need a virtual assistant. Um, communications, uh, prospect list, 
marketing strategy, research, all that's going to be important. There's going to be a lot of uh, research and that type of stuff to actually find qualified leads and reach out to them. Um, so let's just go ahead and we'll go to the scope next. Uh, so we're going to say this is relatively uh, eh, small, quick, straightforward task, right? Post for social media, medium, well-defined projects, large, let's, let's call it a medium project. Um, and let's say, I mean, if all goes according to plan, we'll say this is long term. What level of experience do we need? Uh, I would say we can use an intermediate level person. So we're going to go worldwide because, you know, what's it matter? As long as I can communicate, I don't, don't really care where they're from. So let's set our hourly rate just so we can get a huge range. Let's do 10 bucks an hour to 50 bucks an hour. Okay. Let's review the job. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and describe the post here. So obviously, um, if this is you know something you're going to post now, clearly all of these things are going to be different for whatever it is that you need. Um, but I just want to walk you through the process here and kind of how I'm doing it. Uh, if you have any questions as to how to do yours, um, you know, feel free. Give me a shout. I'll, I'll help you set up a post. Um, but you know, I think I should be able to give you a pretty decent example here. So uh, we don't already have a job description, so we can't paste it there. Uh, so commercial restoration company looking for remote sales people. I always used to say salesman, but we're changing it up to salespeople now. It's 2021. You can be whatever you want. You can be a sales robot for all I care. Commercial station company looking for remote salespeople. We are looking to hire someone who can generate leads for our local sales team. Willing to pay hourly or by the amount of oh buddy hidden tab qualified never promised I'd be good at spelling I just said I'd be a little helpful let's see company is based in the DC metro area and we perform restoration services on large commercial commercial buildings. Your job would be to Search the internet for property managers. <laughs> I hear my dog coming up. Oh, hey puppy. What's up? How you doing, honey? Property management companies that have properties mm -hmm. around the DMV. Lovely, that's DC, Maryland, Virginia, for those of you who don't know. Retail centers, warehouse owners, commercial property managers, 
mate. Let's say commercial property maintenance. Firms. No. Building engineers. Okay, so let's leave it at that. Um, I know I'm taking a good while here, and I may go back and edit this and make it a little cleaner, a little more clear what I'm looking for, but I do want to just give you a basic example. So this is basically all you're going to have to do, and I'm going to get absolutely flooded with people that want to do stuff. Um, so commercial restoration company looking for remote salespeople. We are looking to hire someone who can generate leads for our local sales team, willing to pay hourly or buy the amount of qualified leads you bring in. Company is based in the DC metro area and we perform restoration services on large commercial buildings. Your job would be to search the internet for property management companies, apartment condos, blah, 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 blah. So that's what we're looking for. Um, after you have found a company that could be a potential client. You will be reaching out via email or calling and then if you receive If you get a positive response, handing the lead over to one of our in-person estimators. So let's just leave it at that. That's basically what I'm looking for. Um, and again, this is just kind of a test. I have no idea how this is going to go, but I do know that there's going to be a lot of people that are going to say they can do this and do a good job for me. So we're going to go ahead and post this job, um, and let's just see what we get back. So in the next video, I'll come back. Uh, I may record some of the interviews, um, and you know we'll get kind of an idea of how you can do this, and you know take the time to kind of think about how this could fit in with your company or whatever it is that you're trying to do. Uh, you can see for for a relatively low cost, um, you know you can bring somebody in and they can really kind of jumpstart your sales. Um, and it's also really nice because when you start using people overseas. Uh, you know, you kind of have a company that really never stops working uh, because of the, you know, different time zones and all that. So it's really nice to just kind of know, uh, you know, hey, I got people searching for leads and all that type of stuff, even while I'm sleeping in bed. So that's definitely awesome. Um, but let's just see how this plays out. And like I said, I'll come back with another video or I'll add to this video um, and we'll just kind of show you guys how this plays out for us. So let's run through here real quick. We got some screening questions. Um, we'll ask them to describe their most recent experience with similar projects. Uh, sure, some certifications. Uh, how do you decide to write what tone of voice? That's that's somewhat important to me. Um, and probably what I'll end up doing is creating kind of a boilerplate email for, for any salesperson to send. Um, and they won't really have to worry too much about how they word things because it will be, you know, my words and they'll just kind of be emailing. Um, but let's say uh, we want to be, you know, basically fluent, um, and we're not going to set a higher date. Uh, we can have more than one person; it really doesn't matter. Um, we're not sure how long they're going to work. It's really up to them. Uh, talent type: uh, I would, I, I would prefer an independent. Uh, and let's go ahead and post this job. Alrighty, congratulations. Well, thank you. So you see, that was super, super easy. All you had to have is kind of a basic idea of what you're looking for, um, and then kind of where to go from there. So already, um, you know, we've got people coming up here that uh, has, you know, this guy has 10 relevant skills to your job. Um, and he's in, let's see, who knows where he is, but really doesn't matter. Uh, the point is, you know, there's obviously a lot of talent out here um, that could be helpful to us. So, so what you can do is, let's say we want to invite Edson, not even to try that one, uh, but let's go ahead and we'll just click invite 
Um, so he'll then directly see the job. Now you can't do this, you can't invite without having a post. So if you do wanna hire somebody on Upwork, no matter what, you can't just search talent, find them and hire them. You have to actually set a job post up because I think Upwork you know, wants their freelancers to see the work uh, and then be able to message you just in case, you know, there's somebody more qualified or something like that. But, but you see, you know, you can search through the talent here after you post your job. Um, you can message them. You can, you know, find people that, you know, may or may not be able to work for you. Um, so anyway, take some time, look through here and think about basically what your company needs. Um, and, you know, know that you can have, you know, you can basically hire a remote employee for, for a really affordable rate. Um, it's just a matter now I have had bad experiences on Upwork. Um, so I'm not promising all rainbows and sunshines. Um, but it is, it's a valuable tool if you're willing to kind of dive into it and, uh, figure out how to make it work for you. So, so that's basically, um, you know, this first part of the video and, you know, how to set up your post and, uh, we'll kind of get into what I do next. And I'd like to kind of tell you guys how this works out and, uh, if this was beneficial for me and my company or, how this plays out. So anyway, I appreciate you guys' time. I hope everybody has an absolutely wonderful day today, whatever you're doing. Um, thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, you know, drop it in the comments, whatever, shoot me a message. I'm more than happy to help. Um, so until next time, thank you very much.